What up YouTube, G4 Alita here once again. Today's video topic is going to be a viewer's request, you know. And this, I just wanted to answer one of my viewers' questions, you know. They just asked me this hella recent, you know. I've just seen it like maybe an hour ago. And they basically asked me, um, what is my biggest regret? You know, but the problem with this question is, you know, the way they, they wasn't, um, specific when they said this question, you know, the way they structured this, the way they structured the sentence, I didn't know if they was talking about my biggest regret in life or my biggest regret on YouTube, you know, so I had to, um, rephrase his question, you know, cause I didn't quite understand it, you know, but, you know, just for the sake of trying to answer his question, I'll answer both. You know, my biggest regret on YouTube, <laughs> my biggest, my biggest regret was making a diss video to um, Neo Game Spark. That was by far my biggest regret on YouTube because at that point in time, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, of course, I still don't like the guy. I still think he's a condescending smug jackass you know I still think that of him but for me to make a video publicly going after somebody talking about somebody that ain't me you know I don't want to portray myself like that I don't want to be that guy you know I try to keep my channel like all positivity you know all positive I try to keep my channel that way I try to keep out of that whole area of YouTube where people trying to expose each other, getting in hardcore debates and fighting and arguing over shit that's straight irrelevant. You know, people just trying to ruin each other's lives because like an anime or some shit, you know, taking it to extreme levels. You know, I try I wanna try to, I wanted to try to keep my channel away from that. But for me to make a video about him in that manner, I basically put a target on my back to be involved in that, you know, and I didn't want to be involved in that, you know, so I took that video down, I apologized to him, you know, because I don't like his personality, but I respect the dude, I respect him in the um, aspect of him wanting to be an entertainer and all of that shit, I respect what he's doing, you know, he could do what he's doing over there, I'm gonna do what I'm doing over here, you know, just, YouTube is big enough for him to be over there and I could be over there and we ain't never have to coexist or you know shit like that so that's definitely my biggest regret was <laughs> firing a shot hit his direction you know I don't want to fire a shot at nobody's direction I just want to have a good time with you guys entertain you guys you know make you guys laugh make you guys think you know and just entertain that's all I want to do so that's definitely was my biggest regret on YouTube and I never made a mistake like that again. I just stay out of drama if I can, you know. So I answered that part, you know. My but my biggest regret in life, you know, my biggest regret in life in general, I would have to say, we would have to go back to high school, you know, a couple a couple years back to high school. My biggest regret was how I acted in high school. You know, how I acted in high school wasn't. I, I would say it wasn't the real me. You know, in high school, I was doing a lot of shit I didn't really believe in. You know, a lot of shit I didn't really like. A lot of shit I shouldn't have been doing in the first place to fit in with the wrong people. You know, I was trying to impress the wrong people. People I shouldn't have been trying to impress, you know. And in, in, in the long run, it fucked me over trying to impress them, those people. You know, I had a dope chick I told like my asshole moment video I talked about her if you ain't see that video go back in, in my videos and look but like I guess I had a dope chick that I got rid of because of the people I was trying to impress you know trying dating people um dating chicks I didn't I wasn't even really feeling you know just to appease people that didn't matter people that wasn't there for me in the long run you know I was doing shit like I was going against my own morals, my own ethics, my own conduct. I was going against all of that to impress these people. And I, I, it almost felt like I dumbed myself down. Like I'm not, I'm not dumb. I'm actually a pretty intelligent dude, but I dumbed myself down 
and <laughs> pretended like I was something I wasn't to fit in with the to fit in with the cool kids and all of that shit. You know, and I, and I didn't like doing all of that shit because in the long run it got me nowhere. In the long run, at the very end of things, <laughs> I got expelled out of that high school I was going to because I was behaving like a dimwit. I was just doing just not. I was just doing such stupid shit in high school that I shouldn't have been doing. I should have been focusing on my education, focusing on my real homies and shit instead of trying to impress the fake people, you know. And and I, it came back to bite me. I got expelled and. That the biggest wake up call in my life. I got expelled my senior year. Keep that in mind. The biggest wake up call in my life was when I got expelled. That's when my phone stopped ringing. <laughs> my phone would ring off the hook daily of people trying to chill, trying to kick it, and want to talk and shit. But when I got expelled and needed help, when I needed help from these people I was trying to please, the people I thought was my friends, not a single person came to fucking help me nobody visited me nobody helped me i was completely alone and that shit was fucked up all, all this shit i sacrificed all this shit i gave up you know going against myself to impress these people to befriend these people and they turn around and wasn't there for me when i needed them that shit was just it hurt me to know and that shit hurt me it pissed me off i i I don't know. It sent me into a major depression. You know, after I got expelled, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I didn't know how I was going to make it. I didn't know how I was going to do enough. I didn't know how I was going to do nothing. Getting expelled <laughs> your senior year, you don't know what the fuck you're going to do. You know, you just contemplate, maybe I should just drop out. Maybe I don't know what the fuck to do. Maybe I should just drop out. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't know what to do. So, that was my biggest regret. You know, and what hurt me to like what really stung the most was watching everyone graduate walking across the stage getting a diploma getting a captain gowns and shit like that and knowing i couldn't walk with them knowing that i came from eighth grade to 12th grade we was together for five years this is my class and i couldn't walk with them i could not walk with them you know, knowing that I did not graduate with my class, you know, and that shit stuck with me. That was like the biggest regret. I think about that every single day of my life. Everything I missed out on because of stupidity, you know, missed out on a prom, missed out on a graduation party, gra um, senior trips. I missed out on um, a football games and all that other shit, all that other good shit seeing your pictures, all the, it's supposed to be the, one of the greatest times of your life, and I missed out on all of that shit, you know, because I was trying to impress these people that didn't matter, that didn't even matter, that, um, and it's just sad, I think about that all the time, you know, eventually I did graduate, which is good, I'm in college now, thank God, you know, so eventually I moved on with my life, and shit is going good for me now, but it took a long time to get good. It was a lot of bad I had to go through, and I had to do it by myself, which was fucked up because I didn't have no real home. I didn't have that many real homies. I had like a handful of real homies, like maybe five real friends, but other than that, the people I was trying to impress and be cool with, you know, the people I thought were close to me, they was nowhere to be found. They used, I felt like they used me, they got what they needed, and they bounced and they went on with their lives and just left me hanging high and dry, you know, but like I said, I corrected that mistake and it's cool now, it's cool now, but I think about it a lot, just, <laughs> it's cool now though, but anyways, I hope that answered your question, you know, but, you know, but you know, before I even end this video, if you, school is just starting for a lot of people, I, <laughs> trust me, I'm just listening to this message, trust me, be yourself and focus on education. These two things are key. Do not slack on your um education. Please don't go through what I went through. Trust me, it hurt like a motherfucker to watch your class walk and know you couldn't. You know, if you don't if you think education ain't a big deal and all that shit, no. That shit is. Focus on school. Please don't do that to yourself. It is not worth it. 
focus on school. If your grades are shitty, get your grades up. If you like behind a couple credits, make that shit up. If they got um like night classes or something or you know whatever, make it up. Don't be late to that shit. Focus on your education because you don't want to miss out on um great shit like I did. You know, so definitely focus on education and shit. And don't and don't try to be um, popular in high school. Just be a, just be yourself. You know, people going some people going to accept you for you. Don't try to be something you aren't to impress people. You know, don't be that guy. You know, because like I said, in the long run, that ain't worth it either. Just be yourself. Build real friendships with the people to own. And just that's that's all I can say really. You know, but anyways, like I said, I hope I answered your question. I'm sorry I rambled on. This video is like almost 11 minutes, but. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you got any more questions or you want me to answer some more stuff, put it on my wall on my YouTube because then I'll probably get to it and see it, you know. So anyways, G4 Elita here signing off. Thank you guys for watching.